was walking in LA like a celebrity. Wow. Hey, someone's calling me. Sorry, sorry. Who's this? Hello? Huh? I haven't paid my insurance premiums for two months. Oh, yo, I'm so sorry. Uh, can you give me your, your bank details, the bank account number? I will transfer to you in about five minutes. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, bye. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. <sighs> Who was that and why do you need a manual online transfer for your premiums? Apparently, I haven't paid my premiums for two months and if I don't pay now, they will lapse my policy because of non-payment of premiums. Are you... Non-payment of... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Something is not right here, okay? This is not a normal practice. And it could be a scam? A scam? Wait, is it true that you didn't pay for your premiums? I don't remember, Alexis. I've been so busy with work. Okay, okay to clear things up, mm -hmm. why don't you just call your insurance company to verify this? Now? Yeah, now. Okay, okay, I'll give them a call. <sighs> Hello? Yeah, I just received a call from someone claiming he's from your insurance company and he said I haven't been paying my premiums and my policy will be lapsed soon and he asked me to transfer my payment online. Can you check this info for me, please? Oh, hi, sir. Now, before I provide you any information, can I get your full name and IC number, please? Yeah, sure. It's Keanu Azman 123456. Ah, that's correct. Now, please allow me to check the details for you. Hmm, based on our system, your premium payment for plan A, B, C is up to date and there are no outstanding payments due from you. Oh, that means there's no problem with my payments lah. Okay, okay, uh, thank you for the info. Bye. You're welcome, sir. Huh. Alexis, guess what? What? I just got off the phone with my insurance company. Turns out all my premiums have been paid up to date and there's no outstanding payment at all. Mm, you see, luckily I asked you to call and check before you actually made any transfers. That was definitely a scam. <laughs> Speaking of scam, look who just messaged me. <laughs> the scammer giving account number. Luckily you told me about this. If not, I would have paid the scammer. But what should I do next if there's another fraud call like this? Ah, uh, it's the same, okay? The next time you get a suspicious call or email claiming to represent your insurance company, uh -huh. especially if they ask you to transfer money, okay. contact your insurance company to verify the information before proceeding. Okay, thank That's you for that. Thank you for that, Alexis. Okay, but Alexis, how do we recognize if it's suspicious? Because the call I got just now was so believable. Well, fraudsters are likely to contact you by phone or email. And in order to protect yourself from becoming a victim, mm -hmm. you will always need to be very, very, very careful. Okay. You know the saying, right? Sometimes it's almost too good to be true. Ah. For example, when someone you don't know contacts you unexpectedly. Right. Another example is also when you have to be asked to transfer money quickly. The same incident that you just went through. That sounds very familiar, Alexis. But are there any signs that we can identify that it's a scam call? Hmm, well, I usually look out for these few signs. Okay. Number one, when a person is calling you from a personal or unidentified phone number. Okay. Number two, when you receive an unofficial email that claims to represent your insurance company but provides inaccurate or incomplete information. Right. Number three, when they ask you for your personal information or even ask you for payments. Ah, uh, that's good to know, Alexis. I'll be wary next time. Now, Keanu, you mm -hmm. also need to know how to protect yourself from insurance scams. And how do I do that? Mm. Well, it's very simple. Based on your case, mm -hmm. it would be best if you could arrange a direct transfer to your insurance company for your premium payments or sign up an auto debit for peace of mind. I know, but at the same time, these scam calls can be so convincing. How la? I know, right? Don't worry, okay? If you're ever unsure of whether you're being scammed by a fake operator, mm -hmm. you can always verify the calls or messages that you received by emailing or contacting the official contacts of your insurance company immediately. And then, mm -hmm. inform them about the situation after that. I see. Well, Alexis, you are very smart, you know. How come you can know so much about this one? <laughs> well, I always see the public service announcements or awareness from the official government channels and insurance pages on my timeline. They will educate me about how to recognize fraud and scams and also share some common fraud examples. And what are these common fraud examples they normally share? Ah, uh, well, some of the examples of common fraud are identity theft, okay. where someone pretends to be working for an insurance company mm -hmm. and steals your personal information. Another example would be someone pretending to be an advisor to promote a product and requesting the client to remit payment prior to the policy application. Subsequently, a bogus policy is also issued to the client. Thank you so much, Alexis. Always giving me accurate information. 
I understand so much better now, all thanks to you, Alexis. And I think I want to call back my insurance company to tell them all about the scam call I received just now. I go first. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Be alert and protect yourself from scams. If you've ever been in a similar situation, you know what to do. Head over to Sun Life Malaysia's website to learn more and check out our insurance at Takaful 101 series today.